Hi, I'm Lucas from Magoosh.com and I'm the TOEFL guy because I talk about the TOEFL all the time. You see me here at TOEFL Tuesdays on YouTube and also at our site. Today, this Tuesday, we're talking about TOEFL listening. And I have three tips for you that can help you improve your notes during the TOEFL listening section. All right, so these are three very important, very um, broad, very big ideas about how you should take your notes. You have to, for example, avoid the small details. You need main ideas, examples, and reasons. So you need the big thoughts, the big parts of a lecture or a conversation, and then it helps to only give, give the details, only note the details that are very directly related to the main idea, an example of the idea or a uh, reason for the idea. So let's say, for example, if the professor is talking about different types of clouds, you want to note each of the clouds, each of the types of clouds that the professor talks about. But that's not all. You need a little bit more detail. You want to note also what, uh, what details help define the clouds. What is different about this cloud and that cloud, right? But you don't need to go so far into detail that you're talking about the, like, the, the chemistry or uh, the molecules, which the professor might talk about, but you don't need to get all those very small details, right? So, once you have that in mind, this one makes a little bit more sense, is even more important. You want to listen and then write. What do I mean by that? Are you going to listen to the whole lecture or whole conversation and then take your notes after? No, 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 no. Please don't. Bad idea. No, you want to listen and then when you understand what a main idea is, what is an important part, then make a short note about that big idea. Do not write everything you hear do not write everything while you hear it. This is what many students do and it causes problems because they can't write fast enough. It's hard to write everything. You need to listen, choose what is important, and then write it. And then listen, choose what is important, and then write it. Okay? Don't write the whole time. Don't take notes for the whole time. And finally, Third, you want to shorten everything. So by shortening here, I mean abbreviating. If you take a long word and you only write the first five letters or three letters, that's a form of shortening, abbreviating. Or maybe you use symbols instead of words. So instead of writing out the word down, D-O-W-N, you just create a little down arrow. Everything you can do to make it faster helps because, think about this, how long do you need to understand your notes for? A couple minutes maximum. That is, tomorrow, if you don't understand what your notes mean, that's okay. They can be almost nonsense and that's fine. So make everything so short. Whole words, just one or two letters. Everything symbols and shortened as much as possible. All right, I hope that all helps. Practice those tips, and if you do more and more practice, getting it shorter and shorter, you will understand better and better how to take the best notes possible on the TOEFL. Good luck with your practice. I hope to see you here next week at TOEFL Tuesdays. Again, I'm Lucas from tofu.magoosh.com. See ya.